Hello everybody, how are you doing and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about these ridiculous YouTube ad restrictive things and things of that nature. So hang on to your palindromes mm -mm. and we will get this going. So there are a couple things to talk about here and the first thing is I'll tell you a little story. Lately, if you are a creator, you could say if this has happened to you. I have been getting a lot of little bars at the top of my YouTube studio page asking me to take part in surveys that to help make YouTube a better place. So I have gone and taken a couple surveys lately. And one of the things that keeps coming up in the survey about YouTube and about Patreon and TikTok and all this other shit is do I think the way YouTube does the limited ad things, the yellow dollar sign. For those of you who have channels, you know what I'm talking about. Or who are monetized, you know what I'm talking about. And if I think that's fair. And I don't think that's fair. Because everyone knows this, I'm pretty sure. But for some reason, YouTube is acting like this isn't a thing. But whatever ads you see on YouTube, they're based off of the things you search for. They're based off of the things you say when you're holding your phone, okay? It's not like if, I don't know, the ACLU has ads on YouTube. They're not like, well, we don't like this guy's content and we don't want to be associated with this. So we're not going to want to have our ads on this video. That's not at all how it works. And everybody knows this. The ads you see on YouTube videos are based on what you are searching and what you are talking about. So for instance, I had someone write me yesterday saying that all of the ads before my video were Bible ads. Now, whether or not the um, Bible ads in question were doing that because they think I'm a sinner and need saving and the people who watch my channel need saving, they probably don't want to be associated with me. But that's okay. Some of you might be getting ads for um, dating apps or um, racy phone games where you do stuff with hot chicks. You're getting those because that's what you do on your phone. That's what you do on your computer. If you look at a bunch of porn, you're going to get ads focused on that. Like when I do a lot of political view videos and the channels on YouTube that I watch that are talking politics and stuff like that, when I'm doing that a lot, the ads I get are for like Charlie fucking Kirk, Christian coalition of Republican young douchebags, you know, like the ads aren't because these companies support what the content creators are saying. The ads are there because of the shit that the viewers are searching for. We all know this. The advertisers know this. This is why on TikTok... They don't do that kind of shit. On every other platform, they got rid of this whole weird fucking idea that the sponsors are like believing in the content that their ads show up on. It has nothing to do with that. We all know this. So on this fucking survey I took, I fucking said that this is stupid. There shouldn't be any limited shit. And that's why a lot of people are leaving YouTube to go to other platforms where that does not happen. Ever since I took that survey, almost every fucking one of my videos are getting the yellow fucking dollar sign, which means the only ad revenue I would get from those are if people have YouTube premium and are watching my videos. So they're not gonna put ads on it. But here's the thing, they will put ads on it for them. So, like, you know those channels that, like, aren't monetized, but ads play on their channels, and they get all pissed off? It's because they get a lot of views, and YouTube's like, well, fuck you, I'm gonna put ads on your fucking channel anyway. So, now YouTube is saying to me, fuck you, 
Um, you're not going to get any ad revenue for this, but if we decide we want to put ads on your video, we're going to do it and we're going to keep all the money. It's the fucking stupidest fucking shit in the world. I'm, I'm just serenity now, serenity now. Okay. Like it, it's really fucking frustrating. Another thing because of this is I'm not going to put the audio versions of the podcasts up because like, believe it or not, folks, these videos, I try to restrain myself. The podcast episodes, I do not try to restrain myself. So I freely let it flow out the liquor here, okay? I say whatever the fuck I want on the podcast. I pretty much say whatever I fucking want on the videos too. But for some reason, um, there's, I don't know if it's like, since it's so long, that's what she said, there are more F-bombs and stuff like that, but, you know, whatever. So, I'm only going to do the video version of the podcast for members of the channel, and my the audio version of the podcast is up on iTunes and stuff like that. And I'm going to see if that kind of curtails all of these yellow dollar signs. Um, because I put a lot of fucking work into this channel, I put a lot of work into my members, I put a lot of work into the podcast... And for YouTube to trick me into taking an anonymous survey, and then I take the fucking survey, and then when I tell them the reason why their platform is shit, and things they need to fucking change, I get fucking binged like a hundred fucking times. It's fucking bullshit. So, I love YouTube. I enjoy the platform. I would like to keep using it. I don't want to do shorts. If I wanted to do shorts, I would be on fucking TikTok. You know, like, I, I'm not a fan of that. Um, I like the long form content on here. And even if long form is two minutes or longer, you know. But um, this whole, like, draconian ad plan that they have going on here. And I also don't like how much they take from the membership thing. I mean, I get it. They have to make their money. But, dude, you're making, like, fucking a ridiculous amount of money. YouTube, Google, the whole fucking thing. Like, don't act like you're fucking a starving artist, YouTube. But I'm just saying, like, if YouTube doesn't want to get left behind... Because YouTube is scared to shit of TikTok. Scared as shit. And the whole reason why YouTube started doing members... Because it was because of Patreon and Substack. Like things of that nature you know like youtube's on the fence like this this reminds me so much of back when myspace when myspace was fucking just myspace and it was awesome and then twitter started getting popular myspace started having bulletins and then um, facebook started getting popular and then it had a wall or a the stream wall Anyway, so MySpace started, like, grasping for straws and trying to fucking not die. And what happened? It started taking everything from every fucking platform it could until it was a Frankenstein platform and nobody liked it. The thing that made it unique, the thing that made it special, they fucking got rid of because they thought if they just copied what other sites were doing, it would be popular. This is never a good plan. YouTube had something that no one else had, and people were copying YouTube. Daily Motion was copying YouTube. Vimeo was copying YouTube. But then YouTube got scared because of fucking TikTok and started fucking trying to fucking turn YouTube into a type of TikTok. It's fucking stupid, and it will always fail. This shit never fucking works. So, whatever. I would like YouTube to stay around. I would like YouTube to work properly, and I would also like YouTube to not fuck creators. So if you're going to offer an anonymous fucking um, survey, make it a fucking anonymous survey, and don't fucking penalize people for taking it. So that's fucked. I don't like it. So whatever. You know the drill. Um, so tomorrow I will be back with a normal video where I'm not pissed off and yelling and screaming about shit. But let me know down below. Have you experienced anything? Have you taken the surveys? Have you done any of this? Is this like conspiracy theory gone mad? 
Like, what's happening right now? Am I just, like, freaking out over nothing? Let me know. Type hard, everybody, and I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.